Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory, where we're under attack from Fix Miss Stuff. A yearly Satisfactory Christmas event. But that's not the only gift. You see, we're finally in early access, so I have mods like Permaday. So no more nighttime unless I want it to be nighttime. And also I got a few other mods, mainly to help me with screenshots, and others that kind of just give me a hand. But last time, we did make this entire building here, mainly for the processing of oil. And we're gonna fill up this entire building with like 140-ish refineries, blenders galore, and then we're gonna turn this 2,550 crude oil per minute into like six to 7,000 rubber in plastic. At least that's the plan eventually. Today, we're mainly gonna focus on mods and that cool new Fixmas stuff. So we got a ton of cool stuff to do today. So first, remember to subscribe and leave a like. <laughs> and let's get started. And I think our order of operations today is to check out all the new Fixmas stuff and Easter eggs they added, and then go and talk about mods for a little bit. Brr! Ow. But Fixmas is first, and it all starts here on the Fixmas calendar. Look at this. Oh gosh, look at that. That is horrific. But yeah, Fixmas is here. Fixmas is a whole new tech tree that will add in a ton of cool stuff to the game the further you progress in it. And according to the teaser trailer, there are gonna be fireworks, cool skins, and if it's like last year, we'll get explosive snowballs. But it all begins on day one. So you go to the advent calendar, you look for the number, and then you get a little prize for that day. And since it is December 3rd for me, I can also check out number two. <laughs> Actual snow, thanks. And then December 3rd. These things are a little tricky. There's a five in there, nine, 15. Ah, third, a red fixness ornament. Hmm, okay, a lot of stuff to mess around with to begin here. Good, then let's get doing that. So once you get some stuff from the calendar, you head on over to the ma'am. And there's a whole new tech tree in here. Like quite literally, a tech tree. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tree. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's start researching. So it all begins with the tree and the new Fixmas stuff here. So you get to make a giant Fixmas tree, which progressively gets more decorations the further down the tech tree you go. Also, you get to make new things. So we should have unlocked tree branches. And once we get tree branches, we can unlock candy cane stuff, like the new candy cane basher and candy canes themselves, and Fixmas bows and candy canes again, but I think that's like a buildable thing. And because the calendar gave us that ornament, once we have those other things, we'll be able to unlock the giant Fixmas tree upgrade one and progress even further. So to get started, let's build a new factory for Fixmas. I'm not gonna build something very permanent, more so just temporary for the season, you know? Because I've actually dealt with a lot of Fixmas stuff in a previous playthrough. I'll link it all in the description, like the playlist of the whole nine yards, where I went absolutely crazy for Fixmas and built this <laughs> giant evil corporate Christmas factory. It, it was really awesome. But yeah, this year, we're gonna take a more casual approach. And I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler here, but you don't have to run around collecting presents falling from the sky forever. Eventually, if it's like last year, we should get these trees that automatically produce presents for us. So we're gonna set up our factory with that in mind. But for the most part, everything starts with the gifts. So many bins for Z gifts. And from there, we process those gifts into a variety of things. So since we don't have a lot unlocked, I think we can only make branches. Yes, we get gifts and we process them into branches. And like I mentioned, we're gonna have those trees that make presents, and those trees that make presents require a lot of branches. So we're gonna have a ton of Fixmas tree branch processing. And I think 20-ish constructors should do us pretty well for now. So the presents go in there, and everything is processed into branches. 
for now. And once we have a good chunk of those branches, we go back to the ma'am to unlock more new stuff. So let's get the candy canes. Please and thank you. And can we get the next thing? No, we need the candy canes first. Fair enough. More constructors it is then. And then that will get our candy cane production online. Go figure, you get a bunch of candy canes. That unlocks the bows. More constructors. And then you kind of have everything. Well, all of the starter stuff anyway. And then at this point, you'd generally be stuck because you don't have that red ornament. But we got it in the calendar. And so we're able to progress. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Fixmas is coming to town. I feel worried about that. But yeah, with Fixmas here, you're able to produce up to a certain amount, but then you have to kind of wait for the calendar to unlock the next phase. So here, there are these multi ornament bundle things that we'll probably only be able to get through the calendar. But in the meantime, we're gonna be able to make, it looks like the blue and red ornaments, and then the copper and iron ones, and some snow as well. We gotta meddle with the ornaments first. How do we make the ornaments? Most things are in the constructor, but of course, as things get more complex, I'm sure we have to use different machines. If I recall correctly, yep, we have to smelt down presents into ornaments here. Okie doke. See, this is why I have such a big flat space and why I have so many bins for presents. You need a lot of them. You need a lot of them. And a heck of a lot of machines too. By the way, just a quick tip, but since progression is locked behind the calendar unlocks, I'd highly recommend making tons and tons of storage for all the Fixmas items, because as we wait for the next unlock, everything that we need can get stored up in these bins and stuff. So by the time we can go to the next phase, we'll have materials prepared. And having a bunch of stuff stored allows us to move through the video at a good pace too. Oh my gosh though, it is awful having to collect all of these presents. My goodness, I have already spent like two hours doing so. But we have a decent amount of things now. And hopefully we can move forward. But first, oh my gosh, I have discovered the greatest thing ever, 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 maybe in all time. Behold, the emote wheel. Most of you are familiar. See, you can make emotes. You can play the games of scissor rock paper. Aha, and you can clap. Very fun. But did you know that you can actually put these emotes on your hot bar? I think not. Look, look at my hot bar. <laughs> oh yes. Quick claps, thank you very much. A little twirl here and there. Why not everything all at once? <laughs> please, does this work in photo mode? Oh, please. No! My dreams. Fair enough. Dude, this will make multiplayer so much better. It's just kind of doing your own thing, doing your own thing. And then you see someone going like... In fact... Also, I'm a making a pizza. Pizza and a progress. We can now unlock a friend, a snowman, and actual snow. This must be researched. Soon I'll have an army of friends. Hooray. And then over here, fix this. This is the thing. This is the thing. Oh my goodness, the thing. We're free. We don't have to pick up presents anymore. The gift tree produces presents infinitely. Give me this immediately. Oh my goodness. I am so happy. This has come so quickly. It's like day three of Fixness and we already have the tree. Yes. We need so many of these Fixness trees. So many. Oh my gosh, they're expensive. This is why we need all those branch constructors. That's a lot of branches and gifts and also the ornaments. How do? 
ornaments work of those variety. I think they're different. The red and the blue ones, they're from gifts, but I think we need ores for those ones? I think we need a forge. Do I remember things correctly? Ugh, I do. Iron? No. Oh. Copper? No. Fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. I suppose it's time to get into the more complex things. So we shall go to layer two. Oh wait, and there's also snow. How do you make snow? <laughs> Clouds. How do you do it? <laughs> so how do we make snow here? Is it gifts? Okay, more gifts. Gotcha. Well then, we'll have snow constructors down here. And then we'll get the foundries going up in this space we have here. And then we'll make the products. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, kids. Order of operations. Get the gifts. Grab branches. And automate the spicy ornaments even temporarily. So that we can build some beautiful fixmas trees. And get our automation actually started here. So, these are the fixmas trees. Very pretty, I know. And very slowly, they produce fixmas gifts automatically. Uh, just having like one tree, not very good. They only produce 15 gifts per minute, but it's better than zero gifts per minute. Or just having to run around constantly and have to gather them. Although it helps, it's better to automate, right? So we'll get these in place. And this way, we'll have all of our stuff automatically be produced. Although very slowly at first, but we'll be able to scale these things up. And eventually we'll have hundreds and hundreds of trees producing thousands of presents per minute. And while we wait, we get all the capacity prepared. Because when they do start scaling, hopefully they'll scale very quickly. And hey, things are moving and grooving relatively quickly. We already got six trees now and it's only increasing. Also, I went ahead and got the other Christmas ornaments automated too. So now we have all of the iron and copper ones we're going to need, maybe. Probably? I don't know. But really, does it matter? I think we're actually done with everything now. Oh no, we still need a ton more of the iron ornaments. Gotcha, gotcha. And we gotta wait for the advent calendar. Fair enough. That means automation-wise, we are done for now. And we can kind of actually enjoy what we've created. And do things like decorate our factory a little bit. Adding in some candy canes here and there. And we can build some friends that don't look scary or sinister at all. And then arguably the most important thing, the actual Fixmas tree, the giant one. Like it's actually, it's a big boy, big boy. And it should have a couple decorations, if only it did. We've unlocked some stuff. I thought we would have some lights on this or something by now. Huh, yeah, we got the first upgrade. I, okay. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe we just don't get anything on the first upgrade. I, I don't know. But at least it's starting to feel a little bit more like Fixmas. And only just a little. But we'll decorate more once we unlock more stuff. Oh, and I almost forgot. What's Christmas without a little bit of passion? Oi. Christmas cheer, here for you. <laughs> yeah, it sticks presents to them. Oh, that's so pleasant, come back. Stop lagging. Hey. Are, are you okay? <laughs> Look, you're covered in Christmas cheer. You must be so excited. To oh, jeez! It was a trap! Ow, I'm gonna die! Uh-oh. Hey, sir? Sir? Cheer? Fix this cheer? Thoughts? <laughs> Look at all the presents. I love the presents. Uh. Oh, that one's getting cool for Christmas. Oh. Look at this. This is new. Play Productive Packer Deluxe. I never die, so I, I never seen this. Is this new? Has this been in the game for a long time? I have no idea. What is what is this? Tetris? Looks like Tetris. Uh, I'm not reading that. Let's just play. So what are we doing? We have a shape. We get points. Okay. Put that there. All right. It's not exactly Tetris. It's different. 
send it. We just try and use as many shapes as possible, and then we use the more complicated shapes to get extra points. That's that's the deal. Okay. I feel I am doing a good job. Oh, and then of course the game gets more difficult. Super don't vibe with that. Why you have to do this? I'm just trying to enjoy my time. <laughs> Why is there a 60 second timer? I don't like times things. I like snugging out, taking things at my own pace. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Help. Help. Eh. No, 10 seconds. <laughs> no. 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 Seven seconds. That. That. Send it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm too stressed. I don't like this. I don't like being stressed. Huh. But that is kind of fun. And hey, not bad. We got two stars out of three. We take those. You know, unironically, this would be kind of fun on like a phone or something. Oh my gosh, level six. Okay, one more game. One more game. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm so slow at these things. I take my time with all my projects. I'm not built for speed. Ah! I can't. I can't. I can't. Send it. I'm done. Uh, worth 920. Ooh, almost three stars on the hardest map. We don't get okay. Ah, oh, two percent away from perfection though. Unfortunate. Fun little game though. Yeah, like actually, that would be fun on like a phone or something. Anyway, let's talk about mods, modifications, fun things that enhance the game. We're using them. You better believe it. We've been using them for a while now. See my inventory, how insane it is? This is actually a mod. It's a expanded inventory mod. You see, I like to play satisfactory with some quality of life things. Not things that fundamentally change the game, but things that just make things nicer. Like this empty hands mod too. All this does is it provides like nothing in your hand. That sentence doesn't make sense. But like TLDR, say your inventory is all full, right? And you don't want to hold something. Well, you just go to empty hands and you're fine. If you don't have that, you're kind of always stuck with something in your hand. And I guess you could get the coffee cup and that's all right. But sometimes I just want to have like the full nine yards, the full screen, empty hands. And then aside from that, I'm using the permaday mod. It's just better being like a content creator for me to have it always be daytime. Easier for screenshots and all that jazz. By the way, the permaday mod also allows us to change the time as well, which is like super, 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 super amazing. Helps out significantly. Finally, I have another mod called Pack Utilities. It allows us to fly, which is pretty fantastic, because that, together with the permaday mod, allows me to get all of my screenshots I need. And that is pretty much the only purpose I have for it. Anyway, just wanted to mention satisfactory mods because maybe some of you guys aren't familiar with them. Uh, look them up on Google or join the satisfactory modding Discord by looking it up on Google again. I cannot provide any links, nor will links be allowed to be posted in the comments. YouTube hates links to pages that load things of the down. I got a strike on my YouTube channel before for it, so it is not happening again. Just again, Google it, it's very easy to find. And also we'll probably get a couple other quality of life mods in the future. I just wanted to bring this up to let you guys know, and also I knew lots of you guys would have questions about some of the oddities. But anyway, that's gonna be all here. A little bit of a shorter one today because oh my gosh. I started on all the oil stuff and this this has to all be in one video. There's no way this could be like a two-parter. Things are just way, way, way too crazy. But anyway, have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye Somebody clapped again. <laughs> you have one drop. Somebody's clapping. Somebody's clapping. clapping. Take clap off of me. I thing. don't have it on my hot bar. It can't be me. <laughs> Nibs. Yeah. It must be bits then. <laughs> it's not me. Wait. It is me. Uh huh. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> I have a duplicate. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things.